Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to um, speak to you because I um, had the great pleasure of meeting up with Lou Withers um, a few months ago um, when I was down at Hachanda doing um, a demo for um, the company that I am brand ambassador for. Um, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, I spoke to her, we just got chatting. Um, of course, I was in awe of her. <laughs> Isn't everyone? Um, and um, I can feel myself getting red now. Um, I had a lovely photo with her, uh, which I treasure. Um, and uh, we just got talking about crafty things and I'd got this journal with me and she wanted me to post it on your feed. Um, and so it's taken me a couple of months to pluck up the courage to do it. I certainly don't see myself as being a journal maker. Um, it's the first journal I've ever made, um, but I kind of just wanted to go through it with you. I'll try not to bore you, um, and I do appreciate your time watching me. So, without further ado, this is it, okay? So, this is the first journal I ever made, okay? Um, and a lot of it is just things that I've tried to experiment with, so things that I wouldn't normally do. I tend to make giant paper flowers normally, or... Uh, what I teach people to make, or I make I make substrates for like um, people to put, stick things onto, or backgrounds, or all sorts of things. I, I like crafty things, but I'm not necessarily a journal maker, um, and I'm no artist. Um, so um, I these kind of things. So like I, this is the kind of thing I like to do is I like to look at something and think, how can I recreate that? So I wanted to get that effect of old sellotape. Um, so I literally got some new sellotape and did things that to it to make it you know sellotape like um got a little clasp on it here um which i found in a craft clearance store um and then a lots of lots of things in there i'm not going to go through i'm not going to pull all the things out but that's actually an old uh, literally a, a railway ticket um i work on a railway station uh, i'm a trainer for um an employability program but our office is on a um a railway station. Shut up, Dave. Get on with it. Um, I spend a lot of time saying shut up, Dave. So again, there's some more of that sellotape that I was just like playing with. Um, and then we've got um, other little things that kind of like, I just was playing, seeing what can you do, what you can do. Um, don't worry, that's not anything sticking its twos up at you. It's just an okay, it's, it's about okay to talk. It's about uh, mental health. Um, and as some of you might know, I... Uh, battle with mental health. Um, I'm always in a good space when I'm crafting though. Um, I have a condition called um, high functioning autism um, for those of you that are interested. So like lots of little pulley out things like tags and things. These are things like free from tea and that sort of thing. Um, and then like little pockets at the side to pull out. Okay. Um, and then what else have we got? So we've got, again, some more things, just like little tuck away things. This is actually a blackboard bit. I really don't like my writing, but I did have to write something on there. Um, and um, so uh, little tuck pockets um, and then flipping over again. OK, so let's make sure that I don't flip over too many pages. These are the f this is like some of the first things that I did <laughs> um, on my first um, air day um, at Hachanda, um, taking old bits of packing. This is actually an old uh, magazine that I picked up in a charity shop um, from 1956. It's a hobbies and interest thing. Then there's little bits that flip up and then um, there's a little pocket and this is my bucket list of things to do. So like they're all like just all in there. Uh, won't bore you, sorry. Um, I realise it's probably Nothing very exciting to you guys, you do it all the time. Um, and then there's a little pocket here with a bit of metal that I've kind of um, patinaed. Um, I've always said if I ever did drag, my name would be Rusty Patina. Um, so <laughs> I don't do drag, by the way, I'm not shaving this off. Um, although, you know, I could, I could do it. Um, what's his face, does it? One that won Eurovision. Um, can't think of his name now. What's his face? That's uh, <laughs> apologies. Uh, yeah, and like little pockets and things. Um, this is one of those internal 
document wallets that you get in workplaces. Then there's a little bit here. Um, undo it and it's one of those Turkish fold maps and it's actually of Yorkshire and Humber which is where I live not where I'm from but where I live I'm from Coventry by the way not sent to you guys might do that later um so and then there's little pockets here and there's a this is a just another bit and then there's more fold out bits here and these all fold out they're all little pockets um, and it's one of those little righty things that you can then um, clear off. Clear off. Get off my land. Anyway, shut up, Dave. Um, I spend a lot of time saying shut up, Dave. You've noticed. Um, and then in here, there's another little thing with the waterfall card bit in here, which actually says, if you read the, the words, it says, the letter, sorry, it says nosy. Um, so, and then there's more tuck places here um and then we've got this bit which is one of those twist and pop style card bits all based on circuit board um it says uh all sorts of things so it says uh one person's connection is another person's isolation which i really find is a massive thing um with social media these days although i feel connected by it can also feel quite isolated by it too. Um, and then we've got hexadecimal and binary, um, bits and bytes. Um, there's actually a, a number here which actually says binary in binary. Um, so, because I'm a geek. Um, there's this bit here that's just got like a, these are all magnets and it's got a magnetic bit, but you know, it just says it might say something, it might say something saucy, so I'll start, apologies if it does. Um, there's another little pocket here that you pull this bit out of, which when you pull it, don't get your fingers out of the way, when you give it a pull, it's a double slider. Can you see me? Can you still see me? Oh, well. Um, so, um, and then <laughs> some green shield stamps because, you know, I spent my life like um, with my grandma saving up um, green shield stamps and my mum collecting them and all sorts of things. Um, and then there's another little pocket in here with some more things in it. Um, there's a little tea bag here um, with some words in it, which it, which also says, uh, shh, no one cares. Um, I'm fabulous. Sorry, not sorry. And don't judge me. Yeah. Um, and then this is a, oh, sorry, I've just frightened the life out of me. I'm sat opposite a window and a massive bumblebee has just like bashed its head against the wall, the win wall, window, whatever it's called. Um, and then this is one of, the, one of those things from that uh, paper chase um, memo thing. I've just grunged it up and like, you know, I like myself a rainbow and I'm not ashamed to say I really like a unicorn too. Um, and... Uh, and that's basically that's basically it. Oh, and then just on the on the spine, I've just written discombobulation um, because uh, I like. Oh, sorry, discombobulate. It says actually, Dave, not a discombobulation. Get it right. So, and then just on the top here, there's some more pulling out bits. So anyway, um, thank you to Lou for saying that I could do this um like I say thank you for watching um I I don't know like I say I'm not a journal maker um I just wanted to have a play I am really pleased with this though I've got to say I love I do love it to bits um but you know it's just my take on on something and I hope that you like it um, it's really good for my mental health. You guys, crafting community generally, tend to help with that as well. Um, and anybody that wants to know anything about autism, don't ask me. I'm not an expert. If you want to know about my autism, you can. So you can ask me. All right, then. You have a lovely day. Take care. Thank you. And genuinely, I mean it. Thank you. Okay, bye. Big crafty hug.